All right, so I got a little feedback from my AFK action bot. Uh, a lot of people want one for being at the keyboard so they could control their scatters and rally points and superior firepower. So I tweaked the macro. It's going to be two macros for ATKGA. Uh, for whatever reason, once the macro gets a little bit too long, it'll just kind of cut it off. So anytime you load into a new zone, you know, it'll take out the last chunk of your macro. So it's two looping macros that run all of your commands and then dump. So three macros total. And if you want a hotkey, A to KGA and dump, you'll get two extra slots on your toolbar. But six through 12, all those commands have to be in that order for the macro to work. If you know how to tweak macros, you can move it to whatever you want. But for the sake of this video, yep, six through 12 on toolbar one and two, everything has to be in place. Um, so let's give a little demonstration. We'll kill this Aurelian Sentinel right here. And we will pop charge. We'll drop a rally point. And yep, fire that macro up. and It just, you know, just spams everything that procs. Except for the ones, of course, that you want to control yourself. He's digging into me, isn't he? I have a squishy setup for this officer right now because when he is in a group, he has misdirect anger, so usually not getting any aggro, so he's a bit of a glass cannon build right now. So let's go ahead and kill another guy. And see, now you have full control over all of these, so we'll pop scatter. Will superior your firepower as he runs right out of range. Oh no, we got him. And then a good old dump. And I went ahead and tossed my backpack. That way, if you're in combat, and you don't want to tab to another toolbar and leave your macro run, you can get at your buffs. And then any ability buffs like Favor of the Elders, GCW, I would recommend just tossing onto your third toolbar. But yeah, guys, that's it. Um, the macros will be in the description. And that's it.